723, welcome back to Today in New York. A new exhibit explores the tranquil and changing landscape in a part of the world we mostly see during times of unrest. Haifa is a city in Israel where unlike many other parts of the area, peace and unity actually helps the city thrive. For the past 30 years, Gil Muro has chronicled the changes in Haifa through the lens of his camera. His stunning photographs are now part of an exhibit called Images of Haifa and Akko. Good morning, Gil. It's good to have you with us. Thank you, guys. Why did you choose this as a subject? Well, I've, uh, you can't really talk about uh, Haifa or Israel without talking about the Holy Land. And you can't really talk about the Holy Land without mentioning religion. It's really the spiritual center. Uh, Israel's a spiritual center for uh, Muslims, Christians, Jews, and Baha'is. Mm -hmm. And these, uh, Haifa happens to be the world center of the Baha'i faith, a place where I uh, have had a pilgrimage a number of times. And what do you take photos of? Or what are we looking at right here? This, is a, this happens to be an Akka. Uh, this is a picture of... Uh, uh, this is a gate called a Collins Gate, as mm -hmm. a, uh, Amelia Collins, who did, devoted a tremendous amount of time and effort to the uh, beautification of this place. And how did you get started doing this? You've been doing this, you talked about, for a couple of decades. What was your initial inspiration? What brought you here? Well, I have, uh, into in Haifa, well, again, it's a, it's a place of pilgrimage for members of the Baha'i faith. I'm a member of the Baha'i faith for, mm -hmm. for 30 years. And it's a place where you come and, and there's lovely, beautiful gardens, exquisite uh, sculptures, architecture is a, is a fusion of Eastern and Western styles of, of architecture. And you come and commune with, with uh, God and, and visit as a, as, a, as a devotee to the religion. I just would love to come and, and, and sit and, um, and just be silent and peaceful. And beautiful <laughs> pictures. Well, what have you noticed change over 30 years? Over the 30 years, I have watched the uh, uh, Mount Carmel this metamorphosis take place from, from a barren hill. It's a place where Elijah's cave is to this magnificent, beautiful uh, uh, garden and, and, and uh, place of uh, prayer and meditation. And the work of your uh, show is going to help another country. Tell us about that. Uh, Haiti, yes. Uh, in Haiti, oh, these are, these are, these are lovely uh, shots of the, uh, aerial shots of the gardens. Uh, Haiti, uh, there's a, is, a, is a place called, uh, in Haiti, there's a, an educational project uh, it's called uh, Coffee, Fresh Water for Coffee, mm -hmm. and Love Haiti, two uh, not-for-profits founded to help uh, with the, Haiti's been kind of forgotten about mm -hmm. in, in the last few years with, from the uh, tragedies they had, the natural disaster. So this is to raise money for educational projects, scholarships, and um, also to provide fresh water for people who have none. And you also have a unique perspective as we cover the the news of uh, out of the Middle East through NBC News. You're, you're part of the NBC family. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm a technical director on, on Brian Williams' newscast, and, uh, and uh, it's such a contrast. This is a monument to peace, and there's so much coverage of, of the news lately uh, of the turmoil in the Middle East. But this is, Haifa is a very peaceful city, a place where uh, Arabs and Jews work together quite harmoniously. And if, as you can see, as you see the results, it's lovely. Uh, a, a construction project that's gone on for this actually this particular one the terrace project was on, on for 11 years and, and it's, it's possible to work together and uh, for peaceful purposes. Kill it's been great to have you here just before we say goodbye could you just tell us again the name of the exhibit and where people could see it. They can see the exhibit it's called Images of Haifa and Akka at Boy which means to drink coffee mm -hmm. in, in Hoboken on 10th Street uh, in Hoboken, Washington, 10th and Washington, and it'll be, it, it's, it's, a, it's there from 8 to, to 6 every day. All right, Gil, thanks very much for coming in this morning. Good to Thank have you Thank you here. very much. All right, next at 7.30, the latest on our top stories. And a monument of peace a half world away. Next, meet the photographer whose new exhibit is shining light on Israel's changing landscape.